Welcome back to Little Cat Cottage. Today we're going to talk about batteries and BMSs and all sorts of fun stuff. So to start with, um, I'm going to replace the BMS in this old battery. And as you can see, this battery has been, been chopped open. Uh, what happened is the BMS actually failed on it. And this is one I bought used, so uh, it wasn't surprising that it failed. And um, the batteries inside of it, it's uh, made up of a bunch of these little cells. They're all fine, it's, it's holding a charge. So um, what we're gonna do today is we're going to take this Dally BMS and I'm gonna show you how to install it. But that's a relatively straightforward thing to do. So I thought I'd expand on that and kind of do an overview, kind of a 101 beginner friendly, talk about all the different components and how they work together. So to start with, we'll install the BMS and then we'll go all over all those details. So this one actually came with these balance leads that hooked up, and so I've already taken those off, and I'm going to be replacing it with this balance lead that came with the Dally BMS. I've already crimped the ends on it, and uh, crimping is a very straightforward. You don't need any special tools. All you need is a little wire cutter that has a crimper on it. So this project doesn't require any special tools. You're just gonna need, we're gonna need some basic wrenches to um, you know, tighten up bolts. And then this guy, and of course, to do it, you will need some crimped ends and you can get these anywhere, Harbor Freight, anywhere. And um, these are the little screws that, little bolts and nuts that came with it. And we're gonna reuse those. So that's kind of the overview of what we're gonna do today. So to start with, um, you want to hook up these before you plug it into your BMS. If you notice, it has four wires, and that's because there's four groups of cells in here. And those groups of cells are all in parallel, and then when you hook up the four groups in series, you get your 12 volt battery. So what you do is you take this guy, and that black one, that first wire, is gonna go to the negative side. And then the first white, the, I'm sorry, the first red wire is going to go to the first group, so on and so on and so on. So hooking up these balance leads is not difficult. You just need a, you know, a wrench to kind of turn these little bolts. It's not difficult. It's just tedious. So I didn't film the whole thing. But as you can see, you just, you know, turn it. The trick is you want to make sure that um, they're tight and that you want to do it before you plug it into the BMS. You want to get all these connectors hooked up first. But it is very simple to do. It just, instead of filming me doing this for 15 minutes, I just kind of fast forwarded it. Plus these things always fall and I always have to turn the battery upside down and it's a little embarrassing. But you get the idea, very straightforward. Okay, so now we got all the balance leads on and there's not much to it. The, the trick is you want to just make sure that they're tight. And then from here, we're going to hook up the negative. So if you look at your BMS, you have a battery negative and a, a B negative, which is battery negative, of course, power negative, which is power. So this is going to be our new exit guy. So we're going to hook up this to this end, and we're going to hook up that on there as well. So uh, I'll turn the camera a little bit later so you can see what I'm doing. But basically, we're just going to hook up that guy, and then we're going to hook up that guy on top of this over here, which is the negative side of the battery. So now, now we have hooked up our BMS. So you can see we got the balance leads. I haven't actually plugged it in yet, but there's the balance leads all hooked up. There's the negative. Now this is a Frankenstein battery, so I mean, I wouldn't recommend actually using this. This is just to kind of show you how this works, but we got it hooked back up there. So now our negative terminal is back being the negative terminal and there are positive terminal back being our positive terminal. So we can plug this thing in and um, give it a shot and see if it actually charges. But that's kind of how this whole thing works. So you can see it's very simple. All right, so let's break down the components here. On the BMS, you'll see some numbers. We got LifePro 4, 4S, 12V, 100A. So what all that stuff means, we'll start with the top. The top LifePro 4 means that it's a lithium iron phosphate battery. And there's two main kinds of batteries. I mean, there's really more, but I mean, really most people just use one of two kinds. And one is the lithium iron phosphate, which is what this is. 
or they use lithium ion. And the differences are this one uh, lasts longer, but it doesn't have as much energy density. So for example, if this was lithium ion, it would have um, more power, but it'd be a little more dangerous, actually significantly more dangerous. So if you make a mistake and you overcharged it, you could have a problem where in this, you're not gonna have as much of a problem. Uh, and these are gonna last a lot longer. You can charge these things up, you know, thousands of times as opposed to hundreds of times. So the 4S means that it's four cells in series. So you can see we have groups of batteries here. And these are actually small cells, and these are all in parallel, which means they have the same voltage, and then they add up the amperage, and then these are combined to be about, you know, about 3.3, 3.6 um, volts. And then you have four of them, so when you add them all up together, you get, you know, the 12-volt battery. And so then the 100A, that means it's 100 amp. So a couple other things to talk about is you might see a number of, uh, you might see a C. You might see a, a number called a, a, a C. You know, 1C, 2C, 20C, 0.5C. So what that means is uh, how much it can charge and discharge. So if you see a battery that is 1C and it's a 100 amp hour battery, that means that it can discharge itself in one hour. So you can get 100 amps discharged in one hour. And then you can just do the math, you know, if it's 0.5C or 2C, um, just do the math and you can figure out what you get from there. So that, again, that's kind of the overview of how to do all this. I'm gonna hook this back into my system and see if it actually works. Um, I'm probably not gonna use it much because it is kind of um, Frankenstein batteries, you can see. And I'm gonna be building a much bigger 8S system. And you can see uh, this huge box here is my 8S BMS. And that'll be a, a video coming up soon. Um, so this is just kind of a proof of concept just to kind of show you guys how a BMS works and how easy it is to hook it up. So I'm going to be getting much, um, a lot more cells. Uh, they're going to be prismatic cells as opposed to these, these uh, ones that are kind of a circle. And uh, I'm going to be making a real 4S battery with my BMS. And then again, I'm going to be making a big 24 volt battery with this big monster BMS. All right, so that's it for today. Hopefully you learned something. Um, as always, like, subscribe, hit the bell, uh, share with your friends, and uh, thanks for watching.